advice would be to get to know your elected officials. It's just that simple. And start on your local level. You're, most of the time, the council people, the mayor, are your neighbors. And then work up through the state and eventually through the federal government. And of course, try to utilize the, our professional staff at APWA. It's often unknown how frequently your uh, rates may be going up. It could be your water rates, your wastewater rates, or even your taxes. Uh, we've seen that over and over again through regulation that has increased the impacts in your communities. And when you're not advocating for those issues, you'll, uh, you'll see those rate increases happen, uh, not realizing that those costs aren't necessarily happening on a local level, but actually if it's a federal mandate that may be coming down to the local municipality. We have a voice and it doesn't take much to let people know what you think and not to be afraid. Um, you have a private voice, a uh, voice as a citizen, and you do not have to represent your uh, agency that you work for or your company. You have a voice as a citizen of a community to every elected official that represents you. I would say the most important thing is to start when you're not asking for something, to reach out to your elected official and just give them an overview. Here's what we're working on. What do you think? You just have to remember one thing. You're the expert. The elected officials are not. Don't be afraid to just have a frank conversation with these folks. They don't, they, they get a lot of polish from um, professional associations. We, consult, we call ourselves a professional association, but really we're, we're just a bunch of, you know, public works folks. We're a bunch of people that run backhoes that, that are, or engineers and whatever. And we, we've gotten now to the point to realize that we have really interesting stories to tell, we have really interesting things that we do, uh, and people at some point are interested in what we do. So go along with the person, let, let the person be, be the guide, and you know, throw, throw a question your way. Remember you do this every day. You are regularly going in and making your pitch to the city manager. If you're a lower level employee, if you're a supervisor or manager, you're going to your director asking for the ability to do projects, to get funding for your budget. We go to our community every time during budget season to ask for funding. We go out and we talk about projects we're doing, why we're going to be closing a road to repair it, why we're digging up a water main. Those folks that walk up to the hole, those we call them sidewalk superintendents that want to help that are asking what we're doing. We are constantly advocating, but we don't call it that. And I think that's where we sell ourselves short. We all have the ability, we all have the skill to do it. It's just taking the time to really focus it and use it where you need to. Go to your community, go to your state legislatures, go to your county boards. Make sure that you get them engaged. I believe it is essential that we advocate for public works because public works serves many members in many capacities and we serve the public in general and advocating for the organization where they help us leverage what we do to many many other people. Public Works needs a voice for our future. Uh, first thing to do is go to your local APWA membership and find a person that actually is involved find either a chapter delegate or an alternate delegate, someone who's connected, and ask what you can do. Advice to somebody who is just getting started in the advocacy arena is go along with someone else who has some experience and basically see how it's done. APWA also has training opportunities regularly in advocacy. Our Washington, D.C. staff has the availability and the funding to come out to local chapters to put on training seminars in advocacy and media, and media relations. 